do you accept that many Labour people this evening will be really delighted by this decision that you're out of the way and see it as, as removing the obstacle to restoring you know, confidence in the Jewish community? Um, clearly there'll be a lot of people who will be delighted about that, but mainly there'll be people who've hated me all the time. I mean, I've had some great supporters in the Labour Party. I've also had some grim old enemies over the years. But there are a lot of people who did support you before and thought what you did as a London mayor, for instance, mm. was admirable, but you tarnished that record. I, people will judge the history of this I mean, easier once it passes. They'll go back and see what I actually said. I, if I'd said all those things I'm accused of saying, it would be right for me to be expelled. But I don't see there's any point in wasting two years ending up in court you know, two years down the road from now, still arguing about this stuff. We should be all out there campaigning to get Jeremy into Downing Street. Can you say now that you really regret that you might not have just made a more fulsome, big apology at the time we could have avoided all this? Well, I'm, actually, what I prefer to, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have done the interview with Vanessa Phelps because that was my wife's 50th birthday. It just ruined it. But when you look at, you know, the failure to apologise, the failure just to perhaps well, satisfy not. people straight afterwards. I said all the way through that, the row, if anyone's upset, I'm really sorry about this. And, but literally, I, I, no, no Jewish person has come up to me and, and, you know, said to me, how did you do that? It's outrageous. I, I just wish I'd never said it because it allowed Jeremy's enemies, just as much as mine, to distract attention from our, what we're proposing in terms of rebuilding our economy and all of that. And I just don't want that going on for another two years. Twice a London mayor, respected by many for mm -hmm. what you did in that period. Do you just have any regrets at all about how that has been tarnished over the last couple of years? I, of course it's been tarnished by those who believe what they read in the press. What do you feel this evening, the end of that party association? Oh, I mean, I'm sad, of course, but I think it's the right thing to do. I'm not coming back to this issue again because it allows your enemies to distort it. You want to talk to me about the economy? Want to talk to me about climate change? I'm available. You want to talk to me about I mean, Hitler's policies? The answer is no. Do you imagine this is it or will you reapply at some stage? Can you see the circumstances? I'll come back and ask me in a couple of years. <laughs> you don't really doubt. Am I going to live long enough? I think basically if people want me to come back in, that, that's an issue for them. Um, I'm just happy looking after the garden.